Riders, welcome back to Sands Bikes, where you know we only talk e-bikes. And today, we are with Ben Moore in Alicante with his epic orange e-bike. We're gonna do a pro bike check with the pro, and then we're gonna go out in the trails, and I'm gonna get schooled, I'm pretty sure. Don't kill me, Ben. Wouldn't dream of it, would I? <laughs> Today, we are in Alicante with Ben Moore. Mate, thank you for your time. Thanks for coming. And we've actually been staying at his house. <laughs> it's an amazing new place. And check out this e-bike. Ben, tell us what e-bike you're riding. So this is the orange phase. Um, bit of a couple of modifications since last year. I was riding a Surge, which is 27 and a half inch front and rear. Now I'm onto a phase because I just have such an obsession with mullet bikes and it just suits my riding style and especially being out here in the races that I'm doing. So perfect. here she is. So what sort of suspension numbers are we looking at here? So 170 up front on a Fox 36 and 165 on the rear. And I've gone for a progressive coil spring from Cane Creek on their nice shiny double barrel anniversary edition. So I've heard a fair bit about this shock and it's got a progressive coil on it. So what is that doing compared to an air shock? Yeah, good question. So the characteristics of an air shock is you can customize it to really make it what you want on the trail that you're on. When you go to spring, obviously suddenly you've just lost lots of the options that you could do to tweak it. Now progressive spring in particular for my riding style and these bikes works really well because we get a huge ramp up towards the end of the stroke, which means I get that nice suppleness at the beginning where I'm hitting small bumps. And then if I go deep into the travel on a big jump or a big drop, I've still got the support there at the top end. And that's yeah. why I love this thing. No, no, definitely. I, I want to try one because I think e-bikes, like you, it's really hard to get the small bump, the mid stroke and the big hit compliance. It's really difficult. And so we've got a 504 watt battery, EP8. Yep. What other fancy things do we have on here, Ben? So there's a couple of things that I've done to suit my training out here in particular. And I don't like riding with a backpack or anything on me. So I try and put everything onto the bike that I can. So it's all hidden away in lots of places that you wouldn't necessarily think to see. Um, obviously up front, I mean, it's quite a standard one is the tools coming out of the, uh, the head tube there. You've got little daggers hidden underneath here and here and there on the end of there, I've got a nice puncher repair. Quick jobbies under here, I carry a spare chain link and I also carry, which I think is really important for all e-bikers. So this is probably something that's quite handy for you guys watching the magnets that a lot of e-bikes use, and in particular the Shimano, you have to run a magnet on the rear. If you were to snap a spoke out in the mountain, and God forbid, it's so unlucky that you break that one, you've lost your magnet, you can't get home. So I keep a spare magnet under the seat here, so in emergencies, I can still get home. Interesting, interesting. That's, uh, mine's inbuilt, but that would be a really good tip for anyone with Specialized or I think Bosch as well. And now we're gonna have a cheeky shout out to our sponsor, Schwabi, making the best tires in the business. And Ben, tell us about the tires. Yeah, so on all of my bikes, I run a Magic Mary up front. That's just my, my Bible, that's my go-to. And I particularly like the Ultra Soft. Awesome if it's in super gravity as well, because you just don't get punctures and you get grip for days. The thing that I've done differently this year is I'm running a Big Betty on the rear, which in these conditions, dry, rocky, and the amount of torque and pressure that's put through it with the weight of me and this big bike as well, this tire seems to be holding up just incredible. It's, it's fast becoming one of my favorites from Schwalbe, so I, I rate it for an e-biker. Didn't, e didn't like it a few months ago. No, I mean, so we <laughs> first met in Crans, Montana in Switzerland, and the tracks there, they're more loamy, they're more, I would describe as soft, and this tire in particular wasn't giving me the support that I wanted from the rear of the bike. So I didn't fall in love with it there, but then I came back to my home in Spain for the winter to do my winter training, and it just turned the corner for me. I can, I just know where I'm at with that. I can lean on it, and I know at what point it's gonna give in, which is about there. Yeah. <laughs> and are we running inserts and what tire pressure? Yep, so we've got Kushkor front and rear, again, for the rocks and brutality of the mountains around here. I, I really, really advise running inserts. Um, tire pressure does change depending on which tracks I'm doing, but so my, my go-to is I'll be at about 21 in the front and I'll be at 24 in the rear. Okay, good, good. So what else fancy have you got on the bike, Ben? 
Okay, three bits in particular. I'm going to narrow it down nice and quick for you. Yeah. One is the dropper post. This is a, because I'm quite a tall guy, this is a 200 mil bike yoke dropper post. I absolutely love them. Reliable for days. It's got an auto bleed system on it as well. So you just push here and you can bleed it when you're out on the trails. You can actually do it while you're riding. Number two is my quad lock, which I have on all of my bikes. I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna try and get Sam onto one of these things because I'll be up on the mountains. I've got a map in front of me. I can text Susie and let her know where I am. And it's just on the head up display. Mate. I love it, I love mate. it. I don't know if I wanna put my $1,200 iPhone on there. I thought the same four years ago and I've had my $1,200, $1,300 iPhone on there and it's never come off. And okay. I race some of the most extreme urban downhills in the world. You use it when you race. Yep, I put it on there. I have done, you don't have to, but I've done it a couple of times just to test it and see if it works under big racing impacts on the urbans. Never come off. What about these fancy Sam Hill things? Yeah, so these, these hand guards, I was sent these by a company called Sendit, um, which is an awesome company name, by the way. But out here, as you can see, there's a lot of brambles and I hate taking the brambles in the knuckles and then coming and spending all evening just trying to pull them out in front of the TV. These things are awesome. They're strong as anything. Like you can just tell by looking at it, it's a good product and definitely good for e-bikers. So another one that I would urge your guys to go and have a look at. Excellent. Okay, Ben, mate, thanks so much for the bike check. It is a beautiful bike, but we're gonna go rock some serious trails now. And the new sponsor at Sam's Bikes is Insta360. And this is the go-to. Ben? I'm excited to Have test it. Have you ever it. seen a camera that small in your life? That's ridiculous. 26 grams. It's crazy. I mean, I'd lose it. There's just nothing there. It's but incredible. But you can, you could probably get quad lock to put some type of extra mount. You could get mounts all over the bike. I'm loving it. I'm keen. I have been using this for a couple of months now. It is amazing. You're getting 30 minutes of record time. And then this actually is a charge case. So you're 30 minutes of recording, then you put it back in and 10 or 15 minutes it's charged again to about 80%. So we're gonna put one on Ben and one on me. I'm gonna try and keep up with this animal. And riders, if you are thinking of coming to Spain or Alicante, Ben might be starting something interesting soon. Who knows, maybe there's something in the pipeline. Maybe you could come could, and ride with us here. Could be training, could be good food, could be amazing trails. I think you've hit the nail on the head with all of those. Could be. All right, dude. Let's go hit it. Hit the trails. Let's do it. Dropping in on the Insta 360 Go 2 with Ben Moore. Crazy bastard. So I don't even feel the weight of a camera on my chest, which is really rare. Normally I feel a big camera there. Let's go. That's that the steep section? Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? And we're back on in Alicante with Ben Wall rocking out Orange, e-bike and the Levo. And riders, he's gonna be setting up a new sort of tour company-ish training, luxury tours, the works. And Alicante is like California. I cannot believe the weather here. It is crazy. Oh, I reckon we're gonna get some sun. Bit of a climb here, down shifting a lot into a nice balance section. Really working on loading up that rear tire. And you don't wanna fall off here. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, do you wanna go down there, Sam? No, thank you, sir. Gonna recognize this bit. Ah, that didn't make the corner, and I bet Sam doesn't either. No, Sam didn't make a corner either. 
I didn't know we were going straight. Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, now I remember. Let's see what Sam's got. Whoa, it's smooth. Yeah, it's nice. That's actually, that's actually really bloody hard. That last bit. I know. All right, Ben. That was a twilight light, half an hour session riders, not gonna lie, it's pretty scary. This guy was flying. I'm gonna put in a vertical clip of him doing this crazy sort of rocks. Like, it wasn't a rock garden, it was just loose <laughs> rocks, steep and fast. Anyway, Ben. Thanks for coming, Sam. Thanks for having me. And we're gonna see you in Madrid. And riders, you guys stay safe out there and we'll see you next Sunday.